what is 500 mutual friend experiment and how does anybody do it? So it's a simple experiment to measure uh, what happens to you um, if you add 500 of my Facebook friends. So you go to uh, facebook.com slash rehan33 slash friends and then my whole friend list opens. Then you click on all and then you just add randomly as many people as you can. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your profile um, has your name correctly spelled in English so that people who you're trying to add can read your name, has a bio, like uh, there's an option in Facebook um, called bio. You can line a one liner, who are you? So my bio says, um, let me read it for you. Um, I work on creating mindset that allows common Pakistanis to increase their income to rupees 100,000 a month. That's my one-liner. It explains what I'm doing, why I'm, you know, basic information. But you can do it as a very like. Under that, there's options to write on where do you work, where do you study, and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of people don't add this information but if somebody goes and actually writes your name on Google and write your company name, your LinkedIn ID will pop up. And in the LinkedIn, you have everything. So you're basically like 10 seconds away from discovering that person or, or somebody can discover you. So if you're basically scared of stalkers or somebody who is uh, uh, going to hurt you, um, they can Google you. They can actually find out more information about you. But a stranger who you're actually approaching, hello, please be my friend, it's not going to happen. Um, if you're wearing an underwear or not really showing enough information and approach a stranger and he's not in a swimming pool or she's not in a swimming pool, it's not going to turn out really well. So in, a fa in Facebook, your information is your power. Um, you need to make sure that your information is as much there as possible. Um, where do you work? What is your work about? What is your position there? Add a few things. Where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? Where do you live? It will not hurt you. you. I'm not going to ask you to publish your number, your street address. Don't do that. But do list where you, you know, which city do you live? If you live in, um, say, New York, you know, there's like another 10 million people there. So how does it hurt? Um, if you are um, don't want to list your company, but as I said, if you have a LinkedIn ID, uh, then they will discover you. So better put it out there. Um, the first liner, the introduction section is the best because that allows, that's, that's all people are going to give you time uh, unless you are a pretty girl. Um, they get to be added easily. So a lot of people add people, um, put a fake photo and that doesn't really work. They're not really you're becoming your friends. Um, so don't do that. Put your clear face photo where people, and there's a smile. I mean, there's, beside eating apple, there's other work for your teeth. You, you can show them, they're pretty. Uh, even if you don't have them, it's even more pretty, you know. Put it there because that's who you are. You're trying to become a friend with someone, with the person who you are, not your who, you know, it doesn't matter if you have teeth or no teeth or, you know, look good or not. Yes, we think about ourselves like that, but that's how it happens. So what's an experiment? The experiment is how you change uh, after adding 500 of my Facebook friends who are not from your own country. And then after that, you have to go and interview some using something like streamyard.com or be live tv or facebook um you know facebook live function has an option to get a guest in there but have random conversation with a random 20 people um about life about anything and it, each conversation will be 30 minutes long um what will happen after this so after this you will see start to change in, inside you you will see a, ch a change happening inside you and and this is what I wanted to measure so I did it with 500 people I gave away around 500 laptops and um, interviewed them and asked them how did it change your life 
so it has changed a lot of people's life um, it's still changing a lot of people's life now it has become a methodology for me to have even a conversation with someone so as as they do this um, if somebody wants to do business with me or it want to have a meeting with me um, I ask them to go and add 50 of my friends as a step one to show that they're really serious about meeting me and majority of the people who ask to meet me on Facebook are not somebody who are who are um, CEOs of large companies or um, something which I can learn something from they want to be they, they approach me because they want to learn something from me and similarly to you also majority of the world users of social media is younger generation and if they're approaching you that's great I'm very happy that these people approach me but they take a lot of my time and they're not ready to listen they're not ready to adapt they're not ready to unlearn and learn they, they think they are it's but they're like small little children they don't know what they don't know so as a teacher I kind of force them or bend their hand to if they really if they are serious about meeting me and if they think I have value follow my method and the method is uh, go add 50 of my Facebook friends and that becomes like the doing process so it's like taking the wheat and adding water and adding salt and then preparing the, the dough so once they have 500 friends and they have done 20 interviews I request them to change their name what is that supposed to mean? Uh, so I ask them to have, if they have discovered themselves, so, because um, as I explained in the book and the video, that the whole process will allow you to discover yourself. And as you discover yourself, you will find what are you most passionate about. And if you are most passionate about virus uh, and you want to get rid of a future pandemic why don't you associate yourself to it you know when you go to a college or university you have to make a decision what do you want to study what is your bachelor going to be in what is your master's going to be in? what is your PhD going to be in and it sticks with you for the rest of the life but my suggestion in the world of attention where the attention is the real currency and what gets talked about gets done what gets talked about has a higher value is to change your name and become a goldsmith or a silversmith or a virus smith or a tomato smith or a mango smith or a computer smith. Uh, in our language, we call it a wala, like a smith, you know, like somebody who is doing something for that. So you can become a mango wala or a or a tomato wala or a agriculture wala something which distinguishes you from everyone else how is how is you Rehan any different than any other Rehan how are you John Smith different than any other John Smith um, so I have this wonderful friend his name is Paul Jones which is a very common name and he changed his name to Paul Jones entrepreneur and his on his passport he has now officially the name Paul Jones entrepreneur so he changed his name and that shows me that he is serious about who he is and if you are not serious about who you are why should anybody else in the world be serious about who you are if you're serious about yourself people will take you seriously if you're not serious about yourself nobody's going to take you seriously and if you take yourself seriously and you're willing to walk the path for a few years people will take you seriously because eventually you will get the attention um, which you seek. I have a friend of mine, um, her name is Ziani and she found me because she wrote Allah on Facebook and she was probably looking for Allah on Facebook. I, she didn't found him but she found me and uh, we became very good friends. She started to work with me. One of the best friends I have ever, ever had just because my name happened to be Wala. Um, so similarly, if, if somebody is looking for fruits, if somebody is looking for mango, if somebody is looking for agriculture information, virus information, and if they type virus and you are working to eradicate the viruses from the world or do something about it, why is your, not, why is your name not Virus Smith? It should be because 
then you will be very easily found on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Google, and Twitter, and etc. It becomes your identity, and it becomes um, something to talk about. And as I said, attention is the new currency, nothing else. Eventually, you know, we will be able to measure. Even today, we get measured by the amount of followers and likes we get on the stuff because it's a currency. It's the, um, you're able to get attention span, like Coca-Cola, right? Coca-Cola gets our attention, McDonald's get our attention because it's everywhere, so it has more value. And then similarly, you can have more value just by changing your name. So that's the 500 Mutual Friend Experiment. Mm -hmm.